my entire college career, I've definitely had to avoid uh, buying books. <laughs> um, a lot of the time, I either haven't made enough. Um, I didn't really get any money back for school until like this semester. So most of the time, I wouldn't have enough to buy them. So I would just either find like the cheapest online version I could. Or I would just like have people in the class send me the chapters, which is like always kind of a hassle, but, or even if they say you need it and you get it, you end up only using like the tiniest little bit of it. So it's like, I can get that tiny little bit from a classmate. I don't have to pay a hundred dollars for this, like three chapters I'm going to need for this whole class. Uh, towards the end of my undergrad, I just stopped buying books and I started being that person and I would just ask to borrow books like, oh, hey, can I just look at your thing? My book hasn't come yet. And I just lie. And then every time I just take a picture of every assignment that was posted. And I was like, I'm not spending $200 on this book this year because added up, I have to spend $600 on books. I usually have to wait till I get my loans in before I can purchase them. And if I want to purchase them cheaper, it's online or Amazon. So by the time your loans get in, you still, you know, you have to order the book and then it takes it about a week or two to get to you. So usually the first couple weeks of the class, I don't have the book. You know, there's been a couple of times where it puts me behind anything I can to get it in my hands faster because there's no way I can pay for it. I don't have like money just set aside for that. 